Hello, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Golf Course Superintendent John Garcia. Today I'm going to go through um, the importance of repairing ball marks and the proper way to do so. Most people don't realize how much damage is actually done when a ball strikes a putting surface. And what physically happens is not only do you make an indentation, but you also damage the root system below. So um, I think one thing that is really important to, to, to kind of knock home um, how important it is, is that a ball mark that's properly repaired within about an hour of being created heals in completely within three to five days. Whereas a ball mark that does not get fixed until outside that one hour window or is repaired incorrectly can take three to five weeks actually to heal in completely uh, the root system. So the first thing I want to do is show everybody um, the, the different types of tools that can be used because a lot of people ask that question. And there really is no right or wrong tool. You can use anything from a ball mark repair tool and there's a variety of different ones available on the market. These ones are currently being provided at the starter's desk. You can also use a, a, a T if you don't have a ball mark repair tool. So quickly over here, we're gonna show you the wrong way to fix a ball mark, which is the way that the majority of golfers actually fix them when they make an attempt. And that is by sticking the tool in and popping up the center of the, of the grass. What, what I've done here is actually severed all of the roots underneath that ball mark and, uh, and ensured the fact that it's gonna take a very long time for this area to heal in properly. The correct way to fix a ball mark is to take a tool, and I'll use a different one just for demonstration purposes here, and you insert it on an angle all the way around the mark and you pull the depression together from the outside in, and you usually have to go in in three or four different, three or four different spots and you pull that, that mark all together. And then you could use your foot or a putter to, find, to make the final smoothing on that. And there you have a nice smooth surface for the golfers behind you to play over, and you have a root system that has not been compromised and will be able to heal in quickly and effectively. If you have any questions when you're on the golf course or you need a little bit more information um, or a demonstration in person, feel free to grab a member of the ground staff or a member of the golf staff and we'll walk you through it. So thank you very much for listening and we hope that you'll all fix your ball marks.